Hi there, crafty friends of mine. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. If you want to see tutorials on various types of crafts, you are in the right place. I upload a new video every Tuesday morning. In this tutorial, I'm making a green sea glass soap dispenser with some beautiful 3D embellishments. You can use the techniques I'm going to show you on any project, not just a mason jar. So if you're ready, let's make a mess. The first thing I always do is clean my jar with alcohol. It removes any dirt, grime, or fingerprints from the store or being handled. This will help your paint stick to the jar. After that, I'll spray my jar with green sea glass paint, which is translucent, and it'll take about four coats to get the look that I want. After it dries, I'll spray it with two coats of matte sealer. But before I take this outside to spray it, I'm going to cover the threads on the jar with painter's tape to protect them. I intend to make this a soap dispenser and the lid won't screw on properly if there's any paint on the threads. While I'm waiting for the paint to dry, I'm going to work on my molded items. The sea plants are very delicate and are very hard to unmold when using clay. So the solution is to use cream paste. This stuff is great. It dries flexible and takes about 24 hours. This type of medium works best on delicate, shallow molds. It's time to make the ever beautiful mermaid. I'm using DAS clay for this. This clay is great to use for molds of all kinds. Well, except the shallow, delicate ones. I'm brushing a little bit of cornstarch in the mold to make it release a little easier. After you get all the clay in the mold, you can slice off the excess with a palette knife. I'm going to put her on the jar to dry, so she takes on the shape of the rounded jar. It'll take about 48 hours. Before I put her on the jar, though, I'm putting a piece of plastic wrap on there. This clay will make a mess on your jar if you don't put some kind of protective covering on there first. I put several strips of tape across her to make sure she didn't slide from my original position. Now it's time to remove her from the jar and get her all cleaned up. I'm using an emery board to go around all the edges and get a nice smooth surface. Before I unmold the sea bushes, I'm wiping around the molded image with a damp rag to remove all the excess dried paste. If there are any little excess pieces, you can just cut them off with a pair of scissors. I'm gluing a stir stick to the back of the mermaid so I have a little something to hold on to while I'm painting her. After the paint's dry, it'll be real easy to just pop that right off of there. I'm giving the mermaid and the sea bushes a coat of plain white paint. filming from Las Vegas, Nevada in the United States. Tell me where you're watching from. Now I'm going to make the mermaid and the sea bushes beautiful. I'm painting a coat of deco art metallic paint in pearl. Did you enjoy learning about using different mediums to obtain 3D effects? If you'd like to see an in-depth video about different types of clay and when to use them. See how easy it was to remove the stir stick? I'm going to glue the mermaid to the jar with E6000 glue. First I'm going to lay her on the jar though and move it around a little bit until I can find the placement area. Then I'll mark it with some tape. I don't want to lay her down in the wrong place once I have glue all over her and get glue all over my jar. Are you going to use any of these techniques in future projects? Let me know if you do. I'd love to hear all about it. I love hearing from all of you. Now 
applying a very light coat of glue. Once I lay it down, I don't want any glue to squish out from underneath the mermaid. I can remove the tape that marked the placement now, but I'm going to put some tape strips across her to make sure it doesn't move, and then I'll let it dry overnight. The glue is dry, so I'm removing the tape. Now I'll glue the sea bushes on, and again, I'm marking the placement with some tape. Since I used a medium that dries flexible, these will be very easy to glue down and I'll be using my cordless glue gun that's made by Surebonder. It's so nice to work without a cord. I love this glue gun. I'll put a link below for you. I put some glue in the center of the sea bush and I'll glue that part on first and then glue each little branch on separately. And again, I'm putting a very light coat of glue so it doesn't squish out from underneath. If you're enjoying this video, give me a great big like. And don't forget to subscribe and share it with your friends. Now all this needs is some bubbles and I'm going to use pearls in various sizes to get that look. I'm using gem tack glue to glue on the pearls. It's coming out of the tube way too fast though, so I'm using a pin to dot the glue on the jar. Then I'll use a rhinestone picker to place the pearls on the glue dots. It works on pearls too, and an amazing tool. links to all the tools and products that I'm using in this video below in the description box. and I'll let that set overnight for all the glue to dry. I'm assembling this soap dispenser lid, which is super easy. Then I'll add a beautiful white organza ribbon. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I put together a playlist of some similar projects that you may like. Click the picture on the right to be taken directly to that playlist.